Seth's preparing the bread to wrap his lamb loin in, like pastry for a Wellington. This new age, modern British cooking. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm a great believer in, you know, everything has its roots, you know, in the, in classic cooking as such. I think, you know, Everything reinvents, everything goes around in a cycle, it's cyclical, so, you know. Mm. Reinventions of classics, I think, is a I great way yeah, of... Uh, I think it is, you know. Which is exactly what Matt's doing. But will it please the judges on Friday? That's very interesting that you're rolling out the... I'm trying to make it a bit tighter, not to absorb too much of the, the butter when I put the lamb into it. Oh, that's interesting, I've never seen that. Is this a gr an old granny's recipe? Is that another dig from Tom? Sort of beef Matt's now ready to roll up the bread, mousse and lamb. It needs to be chilled in the fridge to set the mousse. Tom's dish is coming together too. So that's my lettuce coming out now. Tom's put a huge amount of work into it, so it has to be worth a try. He's getting stuck into one of his favourite fiddly bits now, stuffing the lettuce with tongue, offal and vegetables from the jus mix. Waste not, want not. But what does Matt think of Tom's creation? So it's got a few classic influences in there again. You know, he's got them lettuce stuffed, which is similar to a classic French thing, which is choux farce, so he's going to stuff a lettuce with somebody's lamb's tongue like. So that's quite a classic combination. OK, enough of the critique, Matt, or there won't be enough time to get on with your own dish. His parcels are nicely chilled and ready to be browned. I just want to get a nice colour on the bread before I put it through the oven. Uh-huh. So I just want quite a dark colour on the bread. I don't want to make it too light. I want to make sure that the mousse is getting slightly cooked before I put it through the oven. That's lovely. So that's all hardened up in the fridge? That's it, and it's just, you know, the bread's clung to the outside of the lamb as well. Excellent. So It's looking good for Matt now, and his novel idea for a 21st century version of the Wellington may have his rival worried. Where did you get your idea from? I think it's, um, you know, we're talking about classic and we're talking about modern, and they've been, you know, the lines between them get a bit blurred sometimes. I think it's a bit of a variation on the old beef Wellington. Yeah. And instead of using puff paste, you were using bread. Instead of maybe using a mushroom duck cell as such, we're using a... Uh, we use them a bit of chicken mousse. Lovely. But Tom hasn't got time to worry. He's got everything on the go now. Matt's back on track and his parcels can go into the oven. Tom's still hurling things around, but that's the way he likes it. I don't believe in cooking things in advance. I always want everything cooked the last possible moment because it just gives such a completely different flavour to the dish. When it's sealed and cooked off beforehand and then reheated, it's never the same. So vegetables, meats, sweetbreads, everything, all, they should all be cooked at the very last minute. It's just a difference in style between the two chefs, really. They both passionately want to win the competition, and that means cooking towards a climactic moment. The timing is important. As you, get, you, as you need, come to hit your deadline as such, you know, the adrenaline starts to go and the blood starts to boil, I suppose, and go a wee bit, and you just know how you have to hit that deadline, and that's when you get a really big rush off it. There's certainly a rush now, at least on Tom's side of the kitchen. Matt's baked his parcels for eight minutes, and I think he's making a Scottish flag now, a saltire, with his asparagus on the beetroot. Hmm, that's sweet. Tom's bringing all his ingredients together now. The kidneys and sweetbreads, fennel and carrots. There's a bit of garlic in there too. And the final touch for Matt's dish is that jus, which he's taken so much care over. Intrigued to taste this crispy bread crust. Mm. Better be quick. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. It's nice, Tom. It's 